Hi, I'm Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to count the number of occurrences of a number or a text item in a range in Excel. I have a spreadsheet set up here. It happens to be the list of the members of the Baseball Hall of Fame, just to have something fun to, to uh, demonstrate this on. And what, I'm, what I want to do is I want to show the number of players uh, from, from each state. So column F, as you can see, has the state with the, with the two-letter code. Uh, some of them aren't listed because they're, they weren't born in, in the U.S. But we, what we want to use to do, to do this is the count if function. So I've got a column started over here, and I've just got a few of the, few of the states listed here just to demonstrate it. And I'm go, going to go into this cell, and, and I'm going to type in equal, which is the way you always start a formula. And I'm going to uh, enter in count if, C-O-U-N-T-I-F. And you'll notice that Excel uh, recognizes it, that that's a formula. It's, 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 it's helping me along here. So we have count if, and the first thing, the first argument, in other words, the first entry in the function is the range, which is the range that we want to count. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to select all of the entries in column F. So I just start at the top and drag down until I get to the bottom, just bear with me, we're almost there, and now we're done, whoops, we went a little too far. There we go, all the way to the end. Now I'm still in edit mode in my formula, if you look up here, and we go all the way to the top, and now we type a comma, and the next entry is criteria. Criteria is going to be the state, which is the entry in column I, now, unfortunately, this is rather annoying, but Excel does this. Um, it's got my formula bar over the place where I want to be, so I actually manu have to manually enter in cell I2. So I'm just going to type in I2, and then I'm going to type a close parenthesis. Whoops, I got the entry in the wrong place. I have to put my cursor over here, and I'm going to type in I2, close parenthesis, and hit a return, and there we go. So Alabama, AL, there are 12 entries from Alabama. Now, what we want to do, of course, is copy that formula down to all the other ones. But before we do that, we have to make sure that when we copy the formula, as you may know, Excel, when you copy a formula, changes all of the relative references of the cells. So we want to prevent it from doing that. We want the range here up in my formula bar. We want the um, dollar signs before all of the row numbers in just the range here. So we put, it's going to be F$2 and F$242. That's the range of the, um, the num entries in the state column. And then we hit return. And now when we take this formula and we make our cursor to the right hand corner of the, of the cell and drag it down, it's going to copy that formula to all the other states. And sure enough, this is the number of entries uh, in column A for each, um, for each of the different states. So I hope this has been helpful. I'm Ted, and today I showed you how to count the number of occurrences of an entry in a range in Excel. Thank you for watching.